let's see here. Here we go. Welcome back. If you don't know where you are, then you just don't know where you are. I can't help you. We're at the big board. We're looking at Iron Curtain. And I thought it might be worthwhile having a quick look at the victory conditions. Primarily because, well, A, because I wanted to look at them because I'm about to play the scenario, and B, had a buddy text me today going, oh, I think I'm gonna wait on cracking the shrink on this game because some dude posted a review that the victory conditions are broken or fubard or horrible or something like that. So let's have a look and see what the Soviets need to do to win. Um, the interesting thing is that in every scenario, the victory conditions are in essence the same unless they're mitigated by the specific scenario rules. But there's a section, section eight, that goes through the rules. So, excuse me. So the first thing we've got to do here, in order to even try and roll for victory, you have to clear and occupy Berlin. So that's the, you know, that's the number one head honcho, big idea behind all this, which makes sense, right? <clears throat> it's a primary supply route, et cetera, et cetera. In the 62 scenario, all these yellow roads that you can see here are not present. That is uh, clear terrain or other terrain as the case may be. So what, what, so what happens? How do, you, how do you win? You win uh, once you uh, pull the Berlin trigger, at in the there's a phase i think it's a nato collapse phase or nato surrender check phase or something like that in that phase we're going to roll a die assuming this has been triggered and if and, and if we have a reason <laughs> right uh, that we've accumulated we're going to roll the die and if the if the die roll is equal to or less than the number of reasons we have for that the wp owns WP wins. Boom, thanks for playing. Basically, NATO says, bygones, we're done, right? Uh, interesting idea. Let's see what the reasons are. There are three specific reasons that are uh, available to, is it three or two? That's one. Yeah, there are three. Okay, so the first one, uh, it's kind of a keep NATO's hand off the nuclear weapons trigger. Uh, so if, uh, if NATO releases nukes or chem, or chem weapons, in fact, before the, um, before the Soviets, that becomes a trigger, or it becomes a, a reason, I should say. So there's one, right? There's two, actually. So possible victory reasons, that's one and two. And then uh, the next one is the... Uh, Northern sea lanes. So let's have a look at that. Northern sea lanes comprise. Let's zoom out a little bit here. <clears throat> it's kind of sorry about the glare, but it is what it is. Uh, we've got a capture, of course, uh, Bern Bornholm and Copenhagen, and then a swag of ports. There's eight ports over there, and you can see it goes far west as Emden and as far north as as. Uh, Esbjerg there, and uh, as far south as Bremen. Uh, that's, that's a pretty pretty tall order. Although that could that could be this you know this is allegedly a pretty um, the central the open plains northern plains are supposed to be pretty straightforward generally speaking. When we, when we play these uh, World War Three games, there's a lot of dynamic action going on in these areas. So this might be very achievable. So that could give you a reason. <clears throat> and that's rule 8.2a. Now that the, so that's the northern sea lanes. And then uh, the next one is, uh, and you gotta have, uh, so you gotta have, I'll oh, get lost. You gotta have uh, all of these ports and Copenhagen and the island uh, and all that sort of good stuff uh, all at the same time and all occupied. Uh, so that, it's kind of a, it sounds like kind of a tall order. We'll see. Uh, what is the other success criteria? Oh yes, yes, yes. Of course. Uh, you, that's so. That's one reason. Here's another reason. Uh, occupying uh, Dusseldorf, 
Essen and Dortmund here. I think that's Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. That'll give you a reason. As will having three units, <coughs> non-airborne, non-airborne type, any three units across the river, uh, the Rhine River. And does that say in supply? I'm assuming they would have to be. Well, in fact, they have to be exploit exploit capable. Well, that's everybody. Pretty much for the uh, Warsaw Pact. Occupy at least three hexes west of the Rhine, and it doesn't say in supply, so that's interesting. All right, so that would give you, so there are one, two, three, four, five reasons. Okay, so assuming you conducted, you, you were successful with all five, you'd have to roll a one or less. Uh, with and being able to subtract five, you got a pretty good chance there of of, of winning, right? So uh, I think that's right. Does that make sense? If the die roll is less than or equal to the number of reasons, okay. So we have five of them. I got to roll a five or less. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, math is his specialty. Uh, so so there you have it. Now we're not going to know whether that makes sense or not until we get going. So we should get going. So I'm going to get started. I'll talk to you guys soon. All the very best. Ciao.